This video will demonstrate how to use HB Click. This software is used to submit a print to the large format printer here in the ID Lab. In order to submit a file, it either needs to be a JPEG, PDF, TIFF, or an HP-GL-2 file. Today I'll be using a PDF and a JPEG in my example. To start off, you will need to add your file. You can do that by clicking the plus mark in the center of the screen and finding where it's saved on your computer, or you can drag and drop your file directly into the software. Once you do that, on the left side of the screen will be any files that you uploaded, and on the right side of the screen is the preview of what that file will look like. No matter what, uh, the width will always be 36 inches for the paper, and the length is determined by your file. If you would like to change the size of your file, in this case my file is 11 by 8.5, I want to make this file larger. I can go up to the file on the left side, hit the drop down arrow, and I can choose one of the preset sizes or I can enter in a custom size, and then hit the blue arrow, and it will enlarge my file in the preview here. If I wanted to adjust some of the other settings, I can go up to the printer on the top part of the screen and click the drop down arrow. Under mode, I could change it to grayscale if I want it in black and white. I could adjust the quality, the higher the quality, the slower the print. The alignment, I can tell it where I want the file to be aligned on the paper. I can tell it how many copies I would like and I could add cutting lines. Cutting lines will print a dashed line around your uh, file so it's easier to hand cut. When it comes to copies, if you have a smaller file and you said I want four copies, it will not automatically fill in the space if even if two could fit. What it would do is print this one out, cut it, print this one out, cut it. So if you have a smaller file that you would like to print multiple times, I suggest doing it this way where you would import the same file multiple times and under settings as long as nesting is activated it will fit it to the paper the best it can when nesting is not activated it will put each file on a different piece of paper so i'm going to delete these you hit the three circles in the trash can and i'm going to bring in a jpeg image I'm going to download a uh, JPEG here. This JPEG is really small. It's only 4 inches by 2 inches. While you can enlarge a JPEG image, when you do, it tends to lower the quality. So if I enlarge this image uh, far larger than its original size, in the preview at first it doesn't look too bad, but if you use the magnifying glass to zoom in, you'll see that the quality has lowered quite a bit, and it will look like this when it prints out on the large format printer. So keep that in mind when choosing files to, to uh, try to expand their size to the best you can before bringing them into HP Click. If you change the size to something that cannot fit on our paper, which is 36 inches by 72 inches, you'll get a little warning that says page clipping and anything in yellow will not be printed on the paper. It will be cut out. And that is the basics of HP Click.